All right, hey, hey, Zemig here. So uh, I'm making a making a video on a new tool that I will be crafting or fabricating, I guess. Uh, so so I'm gonna have to change the belt on this bike soon, and I don't have a tool that can take off this nut right here. Now I I've seen people use uh, needle nose pliers, but that's that's kind of ghetto, you know, and you, it's not really a good way to torque it. So I want to make like kind of a more proper tool to take that nut off, and I've kind of went through my toolbox and saw some stuff that I could use to make a, a tool for that and this is what I've come up with BAM it's a three quarters uh, three eighths socket basically what it is now it's a it's it's one of those like spare tools in my toolbox that I don't care like if I break it or lose it or whatever I don't really care it's a SAE size because so um, it's pretty much the same as a, like a 19 millimeter is what it is that's what a three quarters is. And like if I break it or lose it or whatever, I, I don't care because it's just some spare tool that I have lying around. It's a cheap one too. It's it says Taiwan on it. So it's a it's not like a snap on or SN, SK, you know, nothing fancy like that. So I won't it won't hurt me if I you know if I if I damage this or like if this doesn't work. So <laughs> but anyway, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna make a tool out of this socket. Um uh a uh, swing arm nut removal tool for this socket okay um, it's basically a tool to take off this nut right here okay now I know you can um, you can buy these um, you can you can buy one for actually taking this off I, th I think Honda's use a very similar nut and you can probably buy like a socket for like a Honda I think no, I'm not 100% on that I've seen some so but but rather than buy one, you know, Hades Mega would rather make one out of something he's got already. So I don't have to pay any money for it, and I make use of, you know, junk pretty much. This is what this is. <laughs> okay? All right, so I'm going to go ahead and uh, here we go. Okay, so the first step here is uh, we're going to... Um, so I already kind of went and took a bunch of sockets, and I, saw, I found out which ones are, you know, which one would be the best candidate, and I think this three quarters is. There's now I had a bunch of three quarters and there have there's like twelve point um, sockets and stuff and I, I don't think that would work very good. Uh, what we're gonna do is we're gonna cut the prongs that go into the the nut here. Uh, we're gonna cut it using the flat side here, so you got a lot of a uh, a lot of meat to to bite into it. Okay. It looks like that uh, that nut is made out of aluminum too, so I don't think it takes a lot of torque to to break it loose. You know. So what we're gonna do here. Is. Okay, so we're gonna go get our socket here, and I'm gonna mate up the uh, the flat parts to where the prongs are, uh, at least as close as possible. So something like that. Okay, and then what I'm gonna do is scribe all the parts where the holes are. Okay. Something like that. And we can kind of we can adjust it later. So. Okay, I got more light so you guys can see what's going on here. Actually, what you can do also is since they're, it should be the same for all of them, if you want to just rotate it to the next one, see the line, the, the, the marks line up. So basically, I'm, I'm syncing this one up to the next um, kind of part that we're going to cut. We're going to Cut around, so lining it up. Okay. I'm just gonna rotate this so it matches up with the other one, the other prong. Okay, okay something like that. Okay, 
And then it's got to be, I don't know how long it is. Let me go get a handy dandy Mr. Caliper here. We're going to measure how deep that is. It looks like it's about eight millimeters deep. So what you're going to want to do is line this up to your tool here. Okay. That. Okay. And then just kind of kind of mark off how much we need to cut. It's pretty big. It's it's pretty deep. So right there. Okay. Just go around to each one. Stuff all the ends. It doesn't have to be that deep, but the deeper the better. And you got more stuff touching it, you know. Something like that. Alright, so now that I've kind of marked off how deep they each are, I'm going to go color in how much however much they are so okay. do that for the rest of them And if it's a little wider, yeah, if it's a little wider, that's okay, because then, then you can shave it off. You, what you don't want is, you don't want it to be too small. Now, if it's, if it's, if the prongs are too wide, it's okay. It's so bad I don't, can't make out the lines. So now we got a template of what we need to cut. I hope it looks good. <laughs> it, it, it looks, it looks good. I think. So not all of them kind of lined up to the flat part. So I don't know if this is gonna work or not. But we can always add material with the with the welder. So that's one thing we can do. So all right. So I'm gonna go start cutting this. So basically, what we're gonna do is we're gonna cut everything but the um, the parts that we marked off. So what I might wanna do. Let's just draw a line from each one. Draw a line across each prong here. It's gonna be a lot of grinding, dude. Okay, so basically all this stuff that's all this stuff that's um, not, that hasn't been colored in, that's what we're going to grind off, okay? So I think what we're going to use is a, is a grinder. We're going to use, um, we'll use a bench grinder and we'll use a cutting wheel. I think a cutting wheel will do pretty good for this. Okay, okay, here we go. Uh, so what I'm going to use is this guy, okay? We're going to go put it on the vise. Probably like this. And I'm just gonna cut like little pieces off at a time. Okay. This guy and this guy. Okay. Safety first, right? Oh, you know what works even better? I, I know a better tool. Okay, so that's kind of what it looks like right now. 
I just realized there's a better tool I could use for this. <laughs> that that's what I'm working with right there. So it actually works pretty good. It's just kind of kind of time consuming, and it shoots like freaking metal shards all over the place. So, um, but I got a better tool. Watch this. Okay, I got a more heavy duty tool. An angle grinder is what this is. Okay. We're gonna uh, so we're gonna use this to take out the bigger chunks, basically. Hopefully it'll work. <laughs> okay, I got some water to quench it. Cool it off so we can rotate it. We can do some touch ups later with the Dremel. So I'm going to go dunk this in the water. Okay. Actually, it didn't get too hot. Hmm. Maybe I'll let it cool down for a while. Okay, so. Now I'm going to rotate it again, rotate it. Okay, so I'll just kind of speed up the video, but that's that's how it is. All right. Okay, that's the second cut. This one kind of didn't go so well. Plus, I marked up some of the other side. Hopefully, that's not some of the stuff that we need. Um, but I'm going to go ahead and quench it. Okay. Surprisingly, not that hot. Okay, so I'm just going to finish the rest of this up. So, so far, we've got like one prong, and then we have to just keep on going. We'll have two after this one. So... It looks like I didn't damage any of the par other parts with the with the grinder. I gotta be careful when I'm grinding it. So, all right. So, we'll start with this one next. And basically, that's what I'm gonna do. So this is the more precise one, and then this one is the more you know it just takes away the meat type of thing. Okay. So, all right. So uh, thanks. Uh, well, well. Through the magic of video editing, uh, this will be done in like a few seconds. Alright, here's the go. Okay, he's me here. We're almost done making the tool. There it is. That's what I've got so far. So I've taken out as pretty much the big stuff. Uh, now all I'm going to do is get the Dremel, and then we'll just clean it up a little bit with the grinder. Um, probably, probably this guy right here. Okay. I'll probably just get a file or something and smoothing out the edges. It's kind of it's kind of rough right now, but uh, that should be pretty much it right there. Uh, now we might have to adjust these. Some of these look thicker than others, so um, like this one looks like I might need to, to grind a little bit. But uh, let's, let's go see if it fits. Okay, so not quite. Didn't quite get it in there all the way. Uh, it's close though. Um, the, the prongs are too big, like I said, um, so you're going to have to like kind of fit it in there. Uh, it looks like some of them are off too. Yeah, some of these are too big, so there, I can still see some shiny parts, so I'm going to go ahead and grind it a little bit more till, till the prongs fit in there. So they're too thick right now. Okay. All right. 
So there's some kind of like, uh, like right here, there's a little bit of space right here and here. Okay, but um, I'll just keep on grinding it smaller until uh, until it fits in there. All right, hopefully we don't break this tool. Okay, it's big here. So there's the there's the final product right there. Uh, so I didn't do such a good job on uh, uh, one of them. One of them was like way off, and it's this one. I I nearly grind it off. I started try I tried to bend the prong, but I was like, ah, oh, I'll just keep on grinding it. So it's like a three prong tool now instead of a four. So hopefully hopefully it'll work. I don't know. I started making them skinnier and skinnier. The metal's pretty soft, but you know, I don't know. Let's give it a whirl. Let's see if we can loosen okay, it. I got my uh, handy dandy uh, breaker bar here, and we'll see if we can uh, see if we can loosen it. I guess probably this will be a one-time use tool, maybe. Well, it goes in there pretty good. Oh, it works. It's moving. I see it. It's moving. Okay. Yeah, you just have to make sure you hold it in there really well. Yeah, it works. How many times you could? How many times can you use this tool? I don't know. Okay. So, <laughs> all right. So, there it is. That's the Hades Omega. Uh, Hades Omega spec. Uh, uh, Suron Light B swing arm, uh, swing arm nut socket. Uh, I might try to make another one. I got a couple three, three quarters. Um, it's probably better to if you had like a pipe or something, something or or you know what would be better if you use a long one. If you use a deep socket, let me see. I got one. Yeah, there. actually, I think if you use a deep socket, it'd probably be even better because see, look, if you look in the deep socket, it's a, uh, it's more solid down here. So if you cut. Actually, if you just cut the uh, the splines off of the um, this twelve point here, you'll have like a nice um, round uh, socket right there, and then you can use that to cut. Because this one, it had like you know, it was a hex pattern, and it was kind of hard to um, to cut it properly. Some of them were in the right place, some of them weren't. Some of them were like in the 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 thinner parts. So I don't know what happened here. I must have I must have thinged it wrong you know but uh what we could do is when i do get that nut off it, it looks like this will take the nut off how many times will it do it i don't know um we probably only really need two prongs anyways to take it out but it's good it's good that like you know there's three of them so it's uh, this one actually kind of does something but it's a bummer that that i got three out of four because <laughs> they should be like right across from each other like this one and this one so and it's eh, i don't know I'm I'm kind of happy with this tool, so that'll be going in Hades Mega's box of weird tools, okay? Uh, but uh, like I said, we could probably use a deep uh, three quarter. That would probably work better. Uh, what we'll do is cut the splines off of this, and then uh, and then yeah, and then we'll do the same thing we did with this. But we have to make sure we we do it properly. Uh, one well, one thing we could do is like I said, when we get the nut off of there. I can take that out and it'll be easier to make a template and then we'll maybe we'll make another one. I'm not sure. So how long did it take Hades Omega to make this? Uh, almost, almost two hours. It took me almost two hours of grinding and cutting and stuff to make it. Um, and like I said, I used a angle grinder, um, a cutting wheel, and, uh, and like a Dremel to grind it nicely. So I think that's, well, that's the finished product right there. I know it's got this one a weird looking <laughs> frog right there, but it actually works. I tried it, so um, hopefully it won't damage the nut or anything. But if anything, you know, it's just gonna hold it there so the um, so the other side doesn't spin. You know. Okay, so uh, so yeah, there it is. That's the Hades Omega Spec uh, swing arm socket nut removal tool for the Suron Light B. Uh, you saw how I made it. I used a three quarter socket. Uh, like I said, I think it would be better if you used a deep socket, cut the splines off of the socket, and then use the thicker, just to use the thicker part right here. I think that would work better. Um, and uh, yeah, so like if you got some old three-quarter sockets lying around, you know, and you got some grinding tools and stuff, you could totally make one, you know. It'll take about an hour or two of work. Or you could just buy the proper tool for like 15, 20 bucks. <laughs> it's up to you, man. <laughs> but I didn't spend any money to do this. 
except for maybe like electricity and maybe you know i wait so i reduce the life of my grinding tools so <laughs> all right thanks for watching that's how to make a swing arm removal nut tool let's make it